In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this mirror effect. So once you have the photo you want to start with, come over here and choose Edit. We're going to apply a blur to the background first of all. So come over here and choose Blur Tools. And then choose the Brush Tool. So click that. And it applied a blur to the whole photo. So we're going to go in and we're going to remove it from him, from the model's face and his body. So it automatically defaulted to Erase Effect Brush. And then just drag, click and drag and remove the blur. So once you've removed all the blur, come over here and choose the blur type and choose Motion Blur. And then just choose your blur degree. So I'm going to put it there, 156, and then your blur direction. So I'm going to offset it just a little bit, like that. And then we're going to have to come back in and remove the blur again. So just come over here and just fine tune it. We need to come over here and choose Restore Effect Brush and just paint back in some of the effect here on the edge. So I went over just a little bit. I'm going to do around his beard. Just clean that up a little bit. his hair. That looks good enough. So go ahead and choose Layers and say yes. Do you want to save your changes in a temporary file? And then just wait a few moments while it processes. And it's going to take us up into the Layers module. Okay, so we're in the Layers module, and the first thing we want to do is right-click the background and create a duplicate. So right-click, Duplicate Layer, and turn this layer off. And then we're going to start cutting strips out. So come over here and choose the Select Area tool. and make sure the rectangle is chosen. And then just come over here and start clicking and dragging and cutting strips out. So we're going to choose a strip by clicking and dragging and then just let go and click Command X to cut and Command V to paste and it automatically pasted it on its own layer. So turn that layer off and come back down to your original layer and you'll see the first strip is cut out. So our next strip is going to be, it's going to overlay just a little bit so click so that it overlays a bit and It doesn't have to be the same width as the previous strip. So choose Command X to cut. 
and Command V to paste. And there's our second strip. So turn that off and then come back to our original. And then just keep repeating this process. Click so that it overlays just a little bit. Command X and then Command V. And then turn that layer off. Come back to your original. Click and drag. Command X and Command V. Turn that layer off and then come back down to your original. And then let's make this our last strip. Command X and Command V. And turn that off. And then we can come down to our original layer. And we don't need this anymore, so we can just delete this. So right click and choose Delete Layer. Say yes. And we can leave the background unchecked for now. What we're going to do is create a black layer and we're going to create strips. So make sure you're on this layer and then come up here and add new layer and click add empty layer. And then we want to make it black. So make sure you're still clicked on it. Let's rename it black. So double click and just call it black. So hit enter. And then come up here to this fill tool. So click this bucket and it defaulted to black for me. It might not for you. So just click on it and then choose your color. Click OK. And then it changes to a bucket. So then you can just click. So now we can go ahead and turn our layers back on. And we need to move these. Now they're all in the same location. So they're difficult to see right now. So let's turn all of them off except for the first strip. And then choose your pick and move tool. And then just click and drag. Let's go like that. And then do your second layer. Turn on your third layer. And let's do our fourth layer. It's hard to see it because it's behind our third layer. But if you hover over it, you'll see the blue lines. Just click and drag. And then let's do our last layer. Turn it on. And it's again hidden. So we could turn the top two layers off to make it more visible. Move that over. Let's turn these two back on. How does that look? That looks good. So if we don't want this last black strip here, we can crop the photo later or we may just keep it. So this looks good. So let's go ahead and merge all the photo strips. So let's uncheck this for now. And when you have the last layer clicked, hold the shift key down and click each layer. And then right click and choose merge layer. And you can go ahead and turn this black layer back on if you want. And then we need to duplicate 
this layer. So right click and choose duplicate layer. And then come back down, click this layer one, and we're going to blur this. Because this layer, the duplicate we just created, is on top of this layer. And we want the bottom layer to be blurred a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. In fact, let's rename it. Let's double click and call it Blur. So while you have it selected, come up here and choose Plugin. Blur Tools, and then let's just click on that and drag it off to the side so the whole photo is blurred, and then just click and drag these circles, and we don't want to blur too much, so just drag the slider over. I think that's good. Right there. So click OK. And we can't see the blur right now because this layer is on top. So we're going to move the top layer. So make sure your Pick and Move tool is clicked. And you're on that layer. And then just move it over. Just move it to wherever you want it, depending on what look you're going for. So let's choose, let's choose that. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply a gradient. So while you have this top layer chosen, Come up here and choose Add New Layer, and then Add an Empty Layer, and then let's rename it. So double click, let's call it Gradient, and then come over here and choose the Gradient tool. So click that, and make sure you're on the Linear Gradient, and we want to choose foreground to transparent and these colors are fine, the black and the white and the opacity is at 80. I'm going to leave it. So let's try this. So just put your cursor here and click and drag to the center of the photo and it applies a nice gradient. So let's do that to the other side as well. So that looks good. And the next thing that we're going to do, and this is the last thing, is we're going to apply, we're going to add an express template. So click that. And then come over here and let's choose this one, Ocean Dreaming. So double click it. And then we're going to go in and delete some of the elements. And the first element I'm going to delete is this one. And you can turn the eye on and off to see what exactly they are. So it's these little things over here. I'm not sure what they're called. So let's just delete it all together. So right click, delete that layer, say yes. And you can either keep this little line in the bottom or delete it. I'm just going to leave it there. And then we want to change the text. So come up here to the first one, the sea beckons the soul, and double click and rename it. So I'm going to type the beard and hit enter. And then I'm also going to rename this one. So double click and I'm going to name it always. always in style. 
So let's come up to the beard, go on that layer and choose the text tool. And double click and just type the beard. And click the little checkbox and then let's do this one. So make sure your text tool is chosen and then just double click to select the text. Always in style and click, click the check box. And then the last thing, if you want to make this border a little bit thinner, we could do that. So let's go to that layer, which is layer 19. We check that. That's what it looks like without. And we could just delete it if you want. But if you want to change the width of the border, make sure you're on that layer. And then come up here and choose the Select Area tool. And we want to choose this Add to Selection. We have two choices, Make a New Selection or Add to Selection. And there's also another selection, Subtract from Selection, but that's not an option in this particular photo. So we're going to add to the selection. So just take your cursor and click and drag. So let's try that. And to come up here and choose delete selection. And that just made your border a little bit thinner. And then just clear the selection. And that's it. So that's it, we're done. The next thing you have to do is just export or save selected photo, however you save your photos. I hope you like this video.